What's up, Bears fans? Nicholas Moriano here alongside Adam Ho. We're breaking down our final wide receiver prospect for our Making the Case series. Going to Boise State, Khalil Shakir. Adam, 77 receptions, 1,117 yards, 7 touchdowns. What do you like about him? Well, you can kind of tell in that photo, he's a, he's a shade under six foot, but he just looks longer. I think he plays longer. So um, I think the the height might be a little deceiving there, but he is a little bit wiry. He's a little under 200 pounds, um, but he's a really good route runner with quickness, but not top end speed. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that's a lot of these guys we're talking about here in this range where the bears will be picking. They don't have that top end speed. Otherwise they'd be going in the first round. So you're kind of, you're, you're, you're living with that already. So if a guy's already a polished route runner and he has that quickness, I'm okay with that in this area that the Bears are, are are drafting in. Also, one thing I love to look at with wide receivers is the percentage of catches that go for thir- first downs mm-hmm. oh, or yeah. touchdowns, okay? 75% of Khalil Shakir's receptions went for a first down or a touchdown. So he's a, he's a money ball catcher. Mm-hmm. That, that's when he, he shows up. Um, he's a tough player. Team captain, I always like when they check that box too. And he gives you some punt return, kick return ability on special teams as well. You know, all I had to do was watch the Nevada game from Khalil Shakir to know that I like this prospect. There were two one-handed catches he made. The first one runs a skinny post, gets right behind the linebacker in, in front of the safety, just snags the ball with one hand. And then in the back left corner of the end zone, there are two defenders there at him. He shouldn't be making this catch, but yet somehow contorts his body. And again, we we showed the photo. He looks, he plays bigger than what he actually is. Is able to haul in the catch for a touchdown. But again, also you see someone that's just a polished route runner for for what he was able to do at Boise State. Now again. What does he need to work on? What are some of your concerns that you have about a Khalil Shakir? Well, he's a little bit more limited than some of these other players we've talked about in terms of where he can line up. This is going to be mostly a slot guy. He's not going to be an ex-wide receiver at the at the NFL level. Um, I don't like... He doesn't always attack the football mm-hmm. in the air. He can be a body catcher sometimes. I think that's led to some of his drops, which, are, yeah. which have been an issue. And I think he can improve as a blocker too. Um, and in this you know outside zone running scheme, that's going to be key to have those blocks on the outside and and so there, there's some concerns there with Khalil Shakir that um, might put him towards the the back end of some of these wide receivers we've talked about but I still think he's a good player that can help the Bears yeah you talked about those drops 20 career drops 20 career touchdowns yeah. so you have the same number there but again maybe he can improve on that once he gets into the NFL but if the Bears see him maybe that fifth round draft pick wherever he can land Maybe that's somewhere where a Khalil Shakir could could make sense or they like him enough in that third round. Maybe that's where they go and get him. But thank you for tuning in and watching the Make the Case series for the wide receivers. But make sure you go back and watch Ola and I break down the offensive linemen. Will and I did the cornerbacks, and there'll be more to come.